What's going on guys, JSGC here and we are here for another Manchester City transfer update. Before we crack on with this video, make sure like always if you are enjoying the content, you want to help to support my channel and do subscribe, press that red button, press the bell and put your push notifications on. It is free, I'm aiming for 18k subscribers, we're less than 600 subs away so any help towards that would be much appreciated. We are doing daily Manchester City transfer updates throughout every single day of the transfer window this summer. So if you are interested, please do subscribe. You can also find my social media links there in the description below and also sliding across at the bottom of the screen. If you want to go and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram, my email also in the description below too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships or any videos or any general business inquiries. Leave a thumbs up if you do enjoy this video. Like goal once more is 300 likes. And also, most important, let me know your thoughts in the comments below as I'm always interested in what you do have to say with regards to these transfers. So without further ado, let's crack on with this video it's an interesting one this one we've only got three stories but the all three of them come in the end so let's start off first with the new name it comes in the form of Rafina. now Gian Luigi Longari he's an Italian journalist he's saying that the Le Leeds winger uh, he's wanted by Manchester City why our names being chucked out there not too sure as far as I'm aware Manchester City aren't currently looking at signing any wingers so I am just going to presume this is to try and boost up the price not only for Leeds United but also for the player and his agent to try and get some more money of course Manchester United are linked there as well two reasons number one not got any scouts like getting linked with every player that Man City get linked with and also Man City Man United stereotypically they pay the most money and so um in terms of demands from the club, from the agent, from the players and his representatives that can demand more money when they say Man City and Man United are in the house and this next team have to pay more money. And that team comes in the form of Liverpool. Apparently they're leading the race to sign the 24-year-old Brazilian winger. To be honest, the transfer underwhelmed me a little bit. Uh, if we was to be after wingers, I'm not too sure Rafinha would be the player that City would be having a look at. But there we go, it's a new name. The story's out there, so I thought I would address it on this transfer update. So, moving on, let's speak about Jack Grealish. He isn't really a player I've spoken about too many times on uh, transfer updates. For the amount of time City have been linked, I've never really addressed the rumours and I've never addressed them because, quite frankly, I've never uh, felt that Man City were going to sign him. But here we are. Now, the Daily Express, they're reporting that if, I put it in block capitals, if, Bernardo Silva leaves Manchester City this season, this summer that is by the way, uh, so yeah, if that does happen, and apparently has been linked with the exit door, was said yesterday Atletico Madrid are interested, we know teams from Spain, from Italy and from France are interested in Bernardo Silva, so if he does leave this summer then apparently Man City want to replace him with Jack Grealish, we know that Aston Villa have already said that he isn't for sale, we have seen Jack Grealish flirt a lot with Manchester City on his social media. He loves interacting. He loves saying how much uh, he thinks that Kevin De Bruyne is the best football player in the Premier League and probably in the world as well. He loves tweeting about Man City, the style of play and how we play. And yeah, it's, it's just... Uh, He's building everything up and building everything up. And I'm confident that if Man City made it clear to Jack Grealish and his representatives that they wanted to sign him this summer, I have no doubt that Jack Grealish would be wanting that transfer to happen and he'd be doing everything in his power to try and make it happen. That's no disrespect to Aston Villa, by the way. Uh, Jack Grealish has uh, done all of his commitments to Aston Villa. In my opinion, he's Aston Villa's best player as well. And I'm sure he wouldn't want a similar situation to what happened with Fabian Delph, where you end up leaving, you're getting called a snake and all the Villa fans will come to hate a player that they love so much. So I, I, I don't think Jack Grealish should want to do that to uh, Aston Villa. Now, it was the way that Fabian Delph lead, uh, left it is, is why there was such hate there. He said he was going to stay at Aston Villa and then decided to leave. I think if Jack Grealish got an offer in from Manchester City, I think Jack Grealish should make it clear that he'd want to go and play for Pep Guardiola and for Manchester City. Um, and I don't think Aston Villa fans would begrudge him of Champions League football and uh, trying to win the Premier League and things like that and getting paid a lot more money. Uh, so I don't think they'd begrudge him of that. It's all about how how that transfer would get done if it was to, uh, to be done. It would be a big money transfer. We would have to pay Aston Villa a lot of money. Their previous quoted around £80 million last summer, that was to Manchester United. I have a feeling with, this, uh, with the season that Jack Grealish has had, 
Uh, I have a feeling that Aston Villa would probably want even more than that this summer. City won't pay that, I'll tell you that right now. So it makes this transfer very difficult. When you're having to pay a, a premium price on homegrown players, it makes these transfers just that little bit more difficult. Uh, so I don't see this transfer happening, but the rumour doesn't go away. Jack Grealish probably doesn't help the rumour with uh, the amount of flirting that he does with Manchester City and Pep and uh, the club and the players here and everything. Uh, but still, I would like to know your opinion in the comments below. Jack Grealish, does he give you a thumbs up? If so, how much would you be willing to pay to bring the England man to Manchester City? And speaking of homegrown premiums, an English player moves us nicely onto our last story. Comes in the form of Harry Kane. We've got the latest on him. Now, Stuart Brennan over at the Manchester Evening News has said that Tottenham have put their value on Harry Kane. And it's at a whopping 150 million pounds not dollars not euros pounds wow that is an incredible amount of money apparently Manchester City are valuing at closer to 100 million pounds I'll tell you right now City's value will be less than 100 million pounds so we are some way off getting a fee agreed for the 28 year old England striker um yeah, it, this is this is going to be a, a very, very difficult deal to get done. In in my eyes, the, my concern here um, is I don't think that Harry Kane will push for an exit at Tottenham. He'll tell Tottenham that he wants to leave. He'll have these offers come at him uh, via his representatives to his agent about how much money they're willing to pay. At the end of the day, I don't think any of this is an issue of, of a stumbling box block for a transfer I think the biggest stumbling block you have is the very same issue that Jadon Sancho had when trying to join Manchester United last summer and that is the outright price that you have to pay the club what you have to pay the owner and Daniel Levy will not budge on his price and so the only way to negotiate with Daniel Levy is quite simply for Harry Kane to hand in a transfer request and make it very clear to Tottenham Hotspur that he wants to leave he does not want to play for Tottenham Hotspur anymore he wants to play for Manchester City that's only when Man City will go into the negotiation table with Daniel Levy to try and get that transfer done and Daniel Levy probably won't even budge on that £150 million even if Harry Kane did all that so being able to get this transfer done is going to be very very difficult Tottenham of course uh, will be wanting a replacement for Harry Kane uh, there has been previously mentioned of uh, Raheem Sterling, of Gabriel Jesus. I don't see Man City offering these players out. I know some people in the comments below are going to say that they would offer them out. I don't think City will do that uh, because then we'd need to replace these players as well. So the expense just becomes too much for City. Uh, and quite frankly, £150 million for a player that's 28 years old. Yes, he'll get uh, got gold for Manchester City, but £150 million for a player that we're... I mean, at the very best, you're probably going to get six, seven years out of him. It just doesn't represent uh, a good value for Manchester City's business structure, and that's not how we do it. Maybe if Harry Kane was uh, three or four years younger, then maybe you'd get a decade out of him, I'd say... Perhaps, uh, but it's more PSG. Man City don't really work like that. We're talking City more than doubling their uh, transfer record for a player. Um, it'd be brilliant to watch fan reaction, watch Manchester City actually pay some of that money. It's not my money, so I don't, I don't really care, but uh, it's just not really how City do that. City are very tight uh, and uh, keep their finances under very firm control when it comes to transfers. So I just, it doesn't smell like Manchester City doing something like this. Man United, maybe I could see them just going, here, have £150 million, we don't care, we're Manchester United. But for City, they tend to just keep things low profile, and I can see that being the same with a striker being brought in. I can see a saga developing over the summer. Uh, I can see there being option A, B, C, D and E. I can see Manchester City maybe settling for, for someone else, which is why I've been speaking about Andre Silva. He is an option for Manchester City. I'm not saying that I think he will sign for City. I'm just saying there will be options out there for us. Uh, of course, there's been other players previously mentioned, uh, Erling Haaland just being one of them. We know that his release clause comes active next summer. That's £65 million. We could even say that we're prepared to re uh, release that clause next summer and uh, we could even afford to pay Erling Haaland a lot of money and his agent a lot of money and still be cheaper than bringing in Harry Kane. So 
I'd love to know your thoughts of this in the comments below and also of Jack Grealish as well and also Rafina too so do let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Uh, we'll be back again this weekend with more daily Manchester City transfer updates for everybody to look forward to. I'm hoping to get out a video as well looking at strikers that Man City could look at this summer to replace Sergio Aguero so another transfer related video for everybody to look forward to so do stay tuned for that do subscribe press that red button press the bell and put your push notifications on daily Manchester City transfer updates 18k subscribers we're aiming for we're less than 600 subs away so any help towards that would be much appreciated you can also find my social media links there in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen if you want to go and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram my email also in the description below too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships for any videos or any general business inquiries and lastly do leave a thumbs up as well as it does help the growth of this video and also of my channel so if you are enjoying the video then do leave a thumbs up once more 300 likes we've smashed it in the last couple of videos let's see if we can do this once more for this as well so any help towards that again would be much appreciated by me so there we go that has been the video i hope everyone does enjoy uh, this video hope everyone has a fantastic weekend as well thank you everybody for watching i hope everyone is safe and well i've been jsgc peace Ciao for now.